We're now in a new section of the Using the Command Line in AutoCAD course. What we're going to be looking at in this section is customizing the command line settings. Now, some of you may not even know that you can do that. You can actually customize a lot of the settings for the command line in AutoCAD itself. You can do that via the Options dialog box, which we'll look at later. But also, there are lots of ways and means of customizing the command line just by using the command line itself on the screen. So you'll notice we've got a new drawing, 03 underscore customizing .dwg. You can find that in your lynda.com exercise files for this particular section to follow along. Now again, we won't be making many changes to the drawing itself. It's all about the command line this course and how we utilize the command line itself. So the whole idea is we look at the command line and not the drawing content in this particular case. So let's have a look now at the input options, the input settings that you have on the AutoCAD command line. Now, how do you get to them, first of all? How do you actually get to these input settings for the AutoCAD command line? Well, first of all, it has to display on the screen. So there it is there. There's the command line. And if you just hover over it and right click, you get what they call a contextual shortcut menu. So this is basically contextual to the command line itself. And there's our input settings right there. So if I hover over those, you can see that I've got a number of them tipped already. Now these input settings, what they do is they edit the settings for when you type text into the command line. So you'll see there you've got autocomplete, autocorrect, search system variables, search content and midstring search. All of those are what allow the suggestion menu to find what you see on that suggestion menu. So for example, if you type in COMM and that's it, it'll find and search all the system variables for that COMM and then find all the commands that link to those four letters, COMM. So like in the previous section when we typed command line hide, and command line, we only had to type the first four letters and it found those on the suggestion menu for us. That's the whole idea of all of these input settings. And you've got things like autocorrect, so it will automatically correct what you type in to make it into a legible command. So you might type L-I-N-N-E. -N -N -E. AutoCAD with autocorrect will obviously make that the line command, for example. Now you'll notice there's one input setting that I haven't switched on, and that's the delay time. I'm not worried about delay time, really, to be honest. I'd rather have it instantaneously typing up there on the command line or on the input bar on the dynamic input. So I don't tend to set that one. But that's where your input settings are. So hover over your command line, right-click, get that contextual right-click shortcut menu come up, go to input settings, and there they are. You can switch them on and off by clicking on the tick to switch it off, clicking on it again, the tick appears to tell you that it's switched on. It's that quick and it's that easy. That's your input settings for your AutoCAD command line.